250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. If you'd like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign Michael U.S., grateful. Grateful, so grateful for all of those who help support the channel, help support the growth. Oh, yeah, baby. Somebody got their head knocked off at the Waffle House. Somebody got their head knocked off over waiting for their food. Said a man killed in a Waffle House employee because he this nigga said that uh, the employee took too long with his food. Now you dumbass about to do life in prison. Oh, yeah, the man's about to do life in prison over this foolish act. Can we get a life sentence, please? Life sentence. Life sentence. Now, I understand that some crimes men commit are just self-defense, you know, protecting yourself, protecting your family. Got to get off of the nigga ass if he's trying you. You know, if you mind your business, but somebody trying you, one must get off on their ass, you know, do your best to do it the legal way because they're going to try to lock your ass up too. But to murk somebody over some uh, uh, smothered and covered hash browns, let's go into this thing. Let's get some uh, video video play. This is according to WBTW.com. That's a fine older black woman right here, y'all. That's a fine Tonight older black in Scotland County, Lorenberg police are searching for a suspect who shot and killed a Waffle House employee this morning. The restaurant is located on Scotland Crossing Drive, where Highway 74 and 501 intersect in Lorenberg. News 13's Jackie Labrizzi has the details about what led up to that shooting. Nuremberg police were called to the Waffle House you see behind me after two gunshots were fired, shooting and killing 18-year-old Burley Dawson Locklear. Nuremberg police responded to the scene around 12.30 Friday morning. The police report shows when officers arrived, they found Locklear shot inside the restaurant. He was taken to the hospital where he died. Mm. Police say the same to the business and ordered food. While his food was being prepared, he became verbally abusive toward employees. Police say after he got his food, he walked towards his car, turned around in the parking lot, and began shooting towards the restaurant, hitting and killing Locklear. Video surveillance pictures show he was last seen wearing a dark blue hoodie, blue jeans, and white shoes. Police say after the shooting, the suspect left the scene driving toward West Boulevard in a dark gray 2014 model Chevrolet. The business is closed Friday, but while on scene, employees were walking in and out of the building, but would not provide a comment. I also reached out to the Lorenberg Police Department for updates on their search. Reporting in Lorenberg, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13. That is so sad. That is absolutely horrible that you go into your job and you did not leave the same way. You, hell, you didn't even leave at all. Let's do a little bit more, see if we got some more details. This is according to lawandcrime.com. Outrageous act of violence, manhunt for Waffle House shooter who killed employee after getting angry, waiting for his food. Article written by Jason Candell. A North Carolina man got angry waiting for his food and shot and killed a teenage Waffle House employee and a search was underway to find the killer. Durley Dawson Lockyer, 18, was shot at 12.42 a.m. on Friday at a Waffle House in Larenburg. Police said in a news release, Larenburg is about 100 miles southwest, southwest of Raleigh. Let's see. Officer responded to shots fired at the restaurant and found Locklear suffering from a gunshot wound. He died at the hospital. The gunman caught on a surveillance video is described as a nigga. I mean, uh, black with light skin, long dreadlocks, 
a beard and mustache. He is five foot eight to five ten, weighs 140 to 180 pounds, and was last seen wearing a dark blue pullover hoodie, blue jeans, and white shoes, just like the video said. Um, let me see there's more detail. Police said the gunman went to the business and ordered food. As his food was being made, he became agitated and verbally abusive toward the employees. Uh, once given, so he did get his food. Once given his order, oh no, no, let me see. Once given his order, he walked toward a dark gray 2014 model Chevy, turned and fired two shots toward the business, striking Locklear and drove off. So yeah, that's pretty much what the. Yeah, pretty much the video says so make sure because sometimes the article has more detail. The death of our associate 18 year old, uh, Burley Dawson Locklear, known simply as Dawson to his friends and family, is horrific. The statement said, We offer our sincerest and deepest sympathy to his family and friends. We offer a free counseling service to our associates, as well as, as well, we are, wait, hold on, I think they messed up here. It messed up here. We are all offering free counseling services to our associates as we all mourn this tragic loss of life. Okay, okay, that was me. Working closely with law enforcement. So, yeah, youngster lost his life for taking too long with the food. Take, would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250G news TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. There's a lot of sick people out there and in a lot of neighborhoods, people bring their guns to work. In a lot of neighborhoods, people bring their guns to work. Now, it sounded like this person shot his firearm outside and it went through like the window because he said, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he went to the car and fired two shots at the establishment. Make sure I read it right. So it, I believe it was close range. Yeah, so once given his order, he walked toward a dark gray 2014, turned, and fired two shots. When they say turned, it turned and walked to the building. Because they say he didn't, they didn't say he walked back to the building, so he just fired two shots towards the business. So, you know, not saying that this was meant for Locklear, for the 18 year old, but it's just crazy how you go to work. You know, you try, just getting up to work is enough. You know, you. You're sacrificing your life, time from your life, things that you want to do to get this bread. We all get it. We all responsible. He is a responsible uh, adult. Uh, he's a youngster, but he's still responsible. He's getting his ass up. He's not selling dope, you know, and he's out there taking care of business. He is out there taking care of business and they took his life. This man took his life. Because he took too long with his food, became agitated and started cussing folks out. You got some deranged people. When you're working with the public, that's a any before it was just like, you know, bus drivers, police officers, you know, first responders. But now it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy how you can walk in, you know, you try to provide for yourself, <clears throat> try try to provide for your kids, for your family, you're trying to get ahead in life. You are we're already dealing with so much in this world already. And then somebody blow you away because you took too long with their mother effing waffle because you took too long with their smothered and covered hash brown. You took too long with their orange juice. Think about that. This man lost his life. Let's say his meal, the man that uh, killed that boy, say his meal was $15. You about to spend the rest of your life in prison over $15. So you lost your life. You're going to prison for life for $15 because your food costs $15 and you killed that boy. He lost his life. He will never breathe again. Think about this. This boy, this 18-year-old boy went to the morgue. He's in the morgue. You know, his, his body's being prepared over, over some waffles and some hash browns and some juice. Waffle, hash browns, and some juice. He's in the morgue over that, over something so minimal. This is crazy. Sad. What a waste of life. Two lives are lost, but that, that nigga needs to go. The one that shot that boy, the suspect, Get your ass up out of here. You don't get no strikes from that where I'm from. You don't get no strikes for killing somebody at work. That is not gangster. That is absolutely nuts. He needs to be, he needs to be in an insane asylum uh, with Joe and everybody else and all the other crazies because that's absolutely, that man's, uh, he got a lot of demons. It's obvious that he's facing a lot, uh, but that's not that young boy's problem. You know, that young boy is out there in that Waffle House handling business, 
getting to work. He probably had two jobs. These youngsters getting the youngsters that's getting it, it that have it up here that got God with them. They ask to work. Got that ambition? They getting their ass to work. They got the family. They have goals. Youngsters getting, uh, getting to work. Them youngsters get it. You know, them youngsters get. They understand what I'm saying. They get. I mean, they understand that they gotta get their ass to work and make that money. Nobody's coming to help them. You gotta go out there and find your way in this world and find it quick. And it's just sad when you see a youngster who, you know, is responsible of taking care of, but doing the right thing and get blown away over foolishness, over some fucking waffles, brother. It's just so many people lose their life over stupid stuff. And this man don't even know this man. Like, they don't even know each other. It's just crazy. Youngster getting his body prepared right now. Family had to put him in the ground. Probably got to get a GoFundMe over some waffles smothered and covered hash browns and an orange juice. $15. He's in the ground over $15. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about the young man, Waffle House employee, losing his life because he took too long with a customer's order? 250 capital G. I'm gone.